Hello everyone, and welcome to the beginning of an exciting vlog slash project. I'm sure everyone has been anxiously awaiting what my project is, and I will show you. Do 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 do! It's a box! Just kidding. That is my 3D mock-up. This is gonna be a rooftop tent. And this is the first stage, building the wooden box, basically. So I don't know if you're familiar with rooftop tents or not, but they are super expensive, especially the hard shell ones, which is the type I want. Those are like three grand. So I'm gonna try to build one myself. I found this one guy on YouTube who's made quite a few different uh, rooftop tents. His name's Patrick Remington. If you want some really good tutorials, go look at that. But this design will be heavily inspired by his videos. Basically, I'm just gonna make a wooden box that then opens on one side like that, and then there's gonna be tent material covering those sides. And then it sits on top of your car. We can then put a three inch like memory foam mattress inside, so it'll be super comfy, and they're just super easy to set up. So far, I've bought all the lumber and screws. I have like gas shocks so that it will open automatically. I bought the latches, the canvas for sewing the tent, which that part's gonna be hard. I've pretty much gotten everything except for zippers and a mattress, and I've spent just over $300. So I'm hoping to keep the whole project under 400 is the goal. Either way, it will be significantly cheaper than a $3,000 tent. This video will probably just be phase one, which will be building the wooden box. So I'm outside, I just wanted to give you guys a basic idea of uh, lumber I bought and things like that. For the lid, I got this really thin plywood. It's only five millimeters. And then for the base, I got half inch plywood. I'm gonna mostly be using these one by fours to make the frame. So I got a bunch of one by fours and I also got a few one by twos for the roof where the frame's gonna be a little bit less thick. My max width obviously is 48 inches because that's the width of the plywood and then length is gonna be roughly 80 inches. So first I'm gonna start making the base. All right, so the basic idea here is I'm gonna have a frame that's twice as thick as the one by fours. One of the boards is gonna go on the outside like this, and then one of the boards will sit on top. So this one will be slightly down, which is actually gonna create more of a waterproof seal between the outside and the tent. There's gonna be a whole frame going around that sits on top of the plywood, and then there's gonna be a whole frame going around that sits flush with the outside of the plywood. One other slightly tricky thing with this build, you need to leave a slight gap between the top and the bottom of the box so that your tent material can go in there. I actually need to cut this base thinner by half an inch. It's gonna actually be 47.5 inches wide instead of 48 inches wide and that's to allow the top to overhang by a quarter inch. That is what I need to do first, is cut this plywood down to 47 and a half inches width. Here we go, time to make my first cut. I'm pretty happy with that. That's a new skill saw from Melissa's dad. Thanks, Gary. So the next step is to cut a bunch of my one by fours down to size. So I just finished measuring one by fours that are going on my base. You can see them right here. So I've got six total boards. Two of them will be more or less cut in half to be the interior width ones. Then four of them will be used for the lengthwise. I guess it's time to make some cuts now. There you have it. So there's the basic box. Next step, I'm gonna actually flip it over 
and clamp these boards to the underside so that I can drill down. I'm going to use wood glue in between each joint and then also screws going through the plywood and screws on the ends connecting the 1x4s. I've now finished the first sort of wall. I've got the boards going all the way around the inside. There's a bunch of screws all the way around, and I put glue in between as well to make it strong. But now I need to put some more boards right there, all the way around, and then that will finish the base. So basically these boards are gonna sit right like that all the way around the outside to give it kind of a cleaner look. And also because these are dropping lower, there's gonna be a half inch lip all the way around and that will keep the water out of the tent as well. Just glue the board to the outside since they have something to fully glue against. And then I'll drill pilot holes from the inside out. I got it all clamped. So now I'm gonna drill pilot holes from the inside and then screw a few screws in there just to help clamp everything together. I put a hole every few inches. It's clamped to the outside. So now I just need to do this same thing all the way around and then we'll be good. Alright guys, I'm almost done with the base. Just got that. One more side to go. I am all done with the base. It actually turned out really well. I made a few semi-crappy cuts. So there's one joint that's not super great, but because I have the double wall construction, covers that bad joint, and I think it'll be all good. I have this outer piece, and then the inner piece is a little bit higher. So when the lid comes down, it'll sit right here. So this will create kind of a weather tight seal. I can attach the tent material to this piece so that when water runs down the tent material, it'll hit here and not go inside the tent. I hope that was fun to follow along. Next step, probably tomorrow, is the top piece. Welcome to day two. So I'm not actually doing any woodworking yet. What I'm gonna do is make some epoxy to kind of seal the corners so that it stays nice and waterproof. Because the corner joints were kind of the least well sealed. It's called epoxy fillets with some sawdust and epoxy. I've got some cheap resin from Home Depot can of spin drift that I cut because that's what I'm going to mix in really fine sawdust in it for my sander gloves and then actually I'm putting a baggie inside of this to put it on kind of like icing on a cake. So one ounce of resin, 10 drops of hardener. All right, there it is. Just finished that. I think it actually went really well. I think I got each of the four corners pretty well. So you can see right there, I ran the fillet up, each of these little gaps too. The wood was kind of warped and I didn't do a very good cut, so I really filled this part in. I think that's looking pretty good. About to start working on the top. It's gonna be a similar construction. Plywood is much thinner. It's a little less than half the thickness because it doesn't need to support any weight really. Instead of the outside edge for the base, it was lower than the inside edge. Now the outside edge is gonna be taller than the inside edge so that it can fit over this piece. So first, I'm gonna do some measuring. Now it's time to make all the cuts. All 
done with all the cuts, so now it's just a matter of lining everything up, drilling, and gluing like we did last time. Now all I have to do is that all the way around, and then we'll be ready to put this outer wall on. So I just finished putting each of the interior walls up for the top. It went really smooth actually, so I think I'm getting the hang of this. So that's the short wall on all four sides. Generally that's the harder step. Glad I got that done. I'm gonna take a break and get some food, but then the final step for the roof is to just put on the wider pieces on the outside. So that's basically all the woodworking that has to be done for this project. At the end, once it's all dried, before I epoxy it and paint it, I'm gonna sand the corners down and round them out. But besides that, we're all done with the woodworking. There's the smaller inside wall, then the wider outside wall. The joints are pretty good this time, but I'm still gonna go through with epoxy fillets to seal it all. Pretty pumped about how it turned out. I hope that was either fun to watch or useful or something. But yeah, comment down below if you have any fun quarantine projects you've been working on, or if you'd like me to do some other crazy project, I'm always down. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you guys next time. Bye. What am I supposed to say at the beginning of these things again? Look at her, just working away over there. <laughs> All right. Let's see. It's super dark. So now it's 75, 79 and a, sorry. <laughs>